welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is caitlin and after a long hiatus i am back i was getting comments like are you ever gonna post again like what's going on or did you fail no i just didn't know what to post i don't want to give y'all vlogs because my life is kind of boring and i don't do anything to vlog anyways i just finished my third semester of nursing school and i'm on to my last semester of nursing school in the fall so my third semester consisted of med search psych research and leadership and today's video is dedicated to everyone's favorite class, med surge. So I was successful in med surge. My grades were like 90s on the exams and my final exam grade was 89. So I want to give y'all some like helpful tips and tricks on how to be successful in med surge class and clinical. So I'm going to start with clinical. Uh, my clinical, I was on a cardiopulmonary unit. I had patients who had heart failure, patients who had NSTEMI, STEMIs, DKA, pneumothorax, pneumonia, all types of stuff. I was able to go down to the cardiac cath. I was able to go down to dialysis. I even participated in a code. I was in charge of doing compressions and y'all, I was scared. So the man was like, y'all are just standing here. Y'all need to put gloves on and go help do compressions. And I'm standing there like, he wants me to help. Like he trusts me to do compressions. And I didn't feel prepared. And a lot of my classmates were like, I'm not going in there, I'm not doing that. And I just want to tell y'all, if you're nervous, like, push yourself to do something to get that experience. I was trying to get, like, the staying alive song in my head. Ha, 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 staying alive. But it just slipped my mind. All I could do is, like, am I going hard enough? Am I going deep enough? Like, am I doing this right? And everyone was like, good job, good job. And we were able to stabilize the patient and get them down to the ICU, which is a great feeling. Like, I helped this patient live, basically. And I just felt good and I still feel good about it and I still brag about it to this day. So I want to tell y'all, push yourself to do things you feel uncomfortable doing. So if they say like, who wants to go down to see this surgery? Who wants to do IV? Who wants to do this catheter? Who wants to do this, this, that, whatever it is, like do it. I woke up every day saying, what can I do to be successful as a student today in clinical? It pushed me to be on my own more and figure out things before I go to my clinical instructor and ask her for help. This sounds crazy, but I feel like in my other clinicals, I've never done anything. But in med surg, I was hanging IVs, priming tubes. I was doing wound care. I was giving baths. I was doing so much that I've never done in my other clinicals before. And I feel like med surg prepared me to be a nurse and it prepared me to go into my fourth semester more confident. So now for the class, y'all, I feel like the class isn't that bad as people say it is. But then again, everyone has their own opinions. I was following other people's opinions on the class. All I heard was med surg just the hardest class ever. Like everyone fills that class. It's not a good class and that made me terrified so i was going to any and everybody like above me saying like how did you study for med search what did you do to be successful what should i do so i'm hoping that i can give you some helpful tips and tricks on how you can be successful in med search so at my school first semester nursing students take a class called care provider and care provider is technically med search one at some schools and what i just took for third semester is called med search two at some schools so in my opinion, and again, this is my opinion, med surge one or care provider is way harder than med surge two. I feel like I was more successful in med surge two than I was in care provider. But also like, you know, I've grown and I learned how to study and prepare for exams. So here's what I did to prepare for my exams for med surge. My professors do not upload the lectures onto Canvas because they want people to come to class. They don't want people to skip class, you know, watch lectures at home. So I would go to class every day and record lectures on my phone using the voice memo app. And I also like convert the PowerPoint into a Word doc and make it like a note format. And I would just type my notes as they speak. And I would go over to the student center and print off my notes there because y'all, I am not printing 50 pages of notes on my printer, my printer paper and my ink. I'm not doing that. So I would use the school's ink. Anyways, I would come home that day or maybe like a few days later, but I wouldn't, I would not procrastinate. I would come home and I would basically listen to lecture on two times speed because these lectures are three hours long. I'm not listening to a three hour lecture straight for the second time. So I put it on two times speed and I would just highlight and write down anything that I missed during lecture in my notes. And I have my notes right here for y'all. So basically this is all of my exams. And I get these from, they used to be at Dollar Tree. I'm not, I'm not sure if they're at Dollar Tree anymore, but I got these from Office Depot and I did see these in Walgreens, but I use these for every semester, every exam. I'll do this one. So basically, 
this is how my notes look. There's pictures, everything's color coded. Here's a good one. And yeah, this is how my notes are. And so I would just do that. And also I have charts that I created for every disease, every disorder. And y'all don't come for me because in every single one of these, I spelled disease wrong and I caught it late. But anyways, this is my chart. And it's very organized. I have the etiology, signs and symptoms, complications, diagnostic tests, medical treatment, nursing interventions, and any teaching that is needed. And this was a great way to study. I have these for every exam. And these are also color coded like my notes. And for me personally, repetition and rewriting and like re-listening, all that helps me study and helps me retain information. So if that is the same for you, then maybe this will help you. So whenever my notes are done, I will go over to my iPad and I swear I'm a little Etsy girl, you know, like my notes are all cute and organized on my iPad. They're not really, but I try and I just rewrite them on my iPad, make them all cute, add little pictures and notes, mnemonics and stuff. And then whenever I'm done rewriting stuff for like the third, fourth time, I go over to YouTube because sometimes things don't stick with me or like I don't understand. So I'll go to YouTube for better explanations, for better ways to remember stuff. So I would watch Simple Nursing, he's the best. Uh, level up rn and say registered nurse and there's this uh pigmonic youtube channel i use them a lot for like psych meds it's so helpful oh my gosh i would take my notes with me everywhere i go and study like i was studying in clinical if i had free time to sit down in clinical i would sit there and study i was at my boyfriend's basketball game studying during halftime during breaks just looking at my notes making sure i remember the information I kinda got clowned for that, not gonna lie. I would also use practice questions. Um, there are some practice questions on Quizlet. You can search up the author of whatever med search book you're using and type in a chapter, and hopefully practice questions will pop up for you. I think ours is Lewis Med Surge, something like that. And that is basically how I study and how I was successful in Med Surge. But not everything that works for me may work for you because everyone's different. I hope that this video at least eases your mind a little bit and prepares you for Med Surge. And now I'm off to my last semester of nursing school. Thanks for watching. I wish you luck on your journey and let's get this degree.